hoes in this house. There's some hoes in this house. There's some hoes in this house. There's some hoes in this house. Hey y'all, what's up? It's Lauren Alexis. If you are new to this channel, don't play with me. Subscribe, like this video, and let's get right into it. All right, so for today's video, if you read the title, you already know what's going on. We gonna be doing a little get ready with me chit chat. But the first thing I'm gonna do, you know, is get something to get these braids out of my face, so. You already know how I feel about these. Stop playing with me. If you don't know how I feel about them, it's because you didn't watch my last video. If you didn't watch my last video, then maybe you should pause this one and then watch the other one and then come back. Just saying. If you want to be in the hip and the now. Holy, holy, holy. No, you see me standing there. Do I look good, my dear? I feel like, all right, I feel like now we can really start because before we couldn't start because I was looking crazy, but now we can, now we can start. Oh. So if I'm at an angle, it's because this is where my mirror is. So bear with me. But we're just gonna get right into this video, all right? Let's start. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is fill my eyebrows in. Y'all, look at this sit on my face. My face never breaks out. Like, I'm really one of those people whose face never really breaks out. And now I have this zit. I mean, thank God for makeup because she's about to become undetectable. But still, like, I have this fat zit. Like, ew. Ew, it's so ugly. Like, it looks like that thing from the Mucinex videos. Like, I hate when my face breaks out. Like, ugh. And I know what to do. I've been trying to pop it so it's inflamed and stuff, so. I don't really know what to do. It's so ugly. Like, it bothers me. It bothers me a thousand percent when my face breaks out. Like, if I had really bad acne, I would spend thousands of dollars going to the dermatologist because I'm not playing at all. Y'all, why is 2020 like this? Like, you torturing me, man. You torturing me. Why you put me through all of this? Break my heart once. You gonna break my heart every month? Come on, man. You taking all the strength that I got. Just give it all to me. Knock me all out at once. I got a knockout punch every week. That's too much for anybody. Oh my gosh. 2020, what happened? What did we do? What did we do in 2019? That is the reason 2020 is like this. What happened? I don't know what happened, but I wasn't there. Like I wasn't there, but yet I'm still being punished. Well, the whole world is being punished, but like, yo, it's like, Things just keep getting worse and worse and worse. Y'all, I was okay. I mean, I wasn't okay, but I was dealing with it. Then y'all, you really took Chadwick? In this climate, you took Chadwick away? Bitch, uh-uh. I couldn't believe it. I could not believe it. Like, 2020 has really just, it's really just shown us like, I don't really know what it's shown us. And then it's like on my selfish tip, why does this have to happen now? This couldn't happen like years before I was born. Like, I don't want to live through this. I mean, I'm pretty sure nobody wants to live through this, but like, I don't want to live through this. This is stunting a lot of things. Like, oh my God, it's scaring me y'all. It's scaring me. It's really scaring me and it's making me like not want to live through this. I mean, I'm not going to kill myself, but it's really making me just want to fast forward. Like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So now I'm going to take some concealer and get my eyebrows together. I don't know about y'all, but when I'm doing my makeup, eyebrows, eyeshadow, if I'm going to do any, and then I do my foundation concealer contour. Now, I personally... I hate when people are like, that's the wrong way to do makeup. I don't think there's any right way or wrong way to do makeup. Look, and I always, I always lift my eyebrow up because I can't, I don't know. I just feel like when it's just limp, I can't see the vision. But when I do this, I can always see like how I want it to turn out or whatever. But yeah, personally, I'm not an MUA, clearly, but I don't think there's any 
wrong way to do makeup. Like I feel like if you do your makeup and it comes out nice, that's your way of doing it, you know? Everything works for other people. And you know what I've also learned? Like I, it's sad that I've had to learn this the hard way. Just because someone can do makeup well on themselves does not mean they can do makeup on other people. Like I know it's hard to wrap your head around that. It was hard for me too. But I didn't had some people do my makeup who could beat their face but just couldn't be mine. And it's not because anything's wrong with my face. It's just because they know how to do makeup for themselves, which is okay. So don't get caught up in that. Like, oh, she does makeup so well. No, 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 no. She does her makeup so well. Do you want to get into this eyebrow? Like, do you want to have an eyebrow moment or do you want to move to the other one? Okay, we'll move to the other one. But this one came out really well. Y'all. You know who I feel like we need to talk about more? Chloe and Hallie. Like, I feel like we talk about them, but do we really, like, praise them how we should? Like, they're up next, you feel me? And I, pre and I just feel like they're not getting enough attention for me. Like, nobody It's hot. Let me get some water. Ain't that how kids do it? Like, baby, you're not that thirsty. If you was that thirsty, you would've been came inside and stopped and put that bike down. Like, anywho. I don't feel like Chloe and Hallie do get, like, get enough attention. Like, are you, I be my face, moving fast cause the Uber's on the way. Like, come on, come on. Taking pictures, make sure you don't see no lace. Like, first of all, they have dreadlocks, but they're with the times. They're either to the street. See, that's what, they're just all around great artists. Their at home performances have really done something to me that I can honestly say nobody else has. Like, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Who, who, who can sing live like them? They sound like the album. Put them on, play them live, play the album and, and try to try to decipher what's what. Like, come on. Right now, they're really up next, like, bro, does X, is XXL freshman only for like rappers? Because they need to be on that. Truthfully, they're sophomores in my eyes. The hell? I'm gonna meet them one day. We're gonna go out for a drink, something cute like that. It's gonna be cute, it's gonna be a little, it's gonna be a cute little thing, but I don't know, I just feel like their music, they write everything, they produce their own music, that's tough. Like imagine singing and being your own sound engineer. What? Come on. Come on. Come on. That's crazy. But let me hurry up and finish this eyebrow. You always have to stop and, and like, if you can start to see the vision, you're on the right track. I can start to see the vision, so I'm on the right track. Y'all, I want to get my teeth done, like, y'all don't even know how badly I want to get my teeth done, like, I'm going to get my teeth done, body next, but teeth first, then my body. Alright, so now, my brows are pretty much, they ain't, they okay. I would blend them out more, but I'm going to put a little bit of eyeshadow under them, not a lot, I'm not trying to do too much. I don't even know what look I'm going for, but I want it to be brown like me so i'm gonna just play into my shadow and we'll just see what it creates but very low expectations um but yeah we're just gonna oh, we're just gonna see what happens all right so the next thing that i'm gonna do is put some eyeshadow on thirsty so thirsty <sighs> I need to stop. Now I'm gonna take this Morphe palette. It's a little dirty, but that's just because she's been used. Did everybody see the Brandy versus Monica like battle? So when I was watching, I was like, damn, I really hope that like, I know some of the songs. Like I really didn't think I was gonna know a lot of the songs. They start playing, I said, silly of me. Voted so much time. 
to find you unfaithful boy lost my mind like i didn't really know that i knew all them songs like i really knew a lot of them songs you know what i'm saying and twitter was blowing me like everybody was like it's so much shit going on it's so much shit like y'all feel like if they was really beefing they would have done that because i don't know about well i can't speak for no other woman but if i don't like somebody it is not there's not enough money in the world there's not enough clout in the world that's gonna make me want to collaborate work with them. Like my morals just, my morals won't let me. Like even if I personally want to, I can't. My morals just won't let me. They just won't let me do it. All right, so I'm taking the lighter brown. I'm putting it towards the bottom of my lid. And then towards the top of my lid, I wanna do something like, like a burnt orangey look. Are y'all like me when you watch a eyeshadow tutorial like on YouTube, halfway through the eyeshadow tutorial, you're like, okay, I got the gist. You don't have the gist. You don't know what you're doing. You don't. You just don't want to like finish it. Like you're just moving too fast. That's me. And I don't really be caring. Like, sorry. I just feel like, okay, I'm an MUA too. Like I'll watch one person and I'll be like, okay, I'm an MUA too. I could do that. No, you can't. Do I ever execute? Of course not. Does it always look a mess? It does. It does. But what I really want to do, y'all, I really want to take a one-on-one. -on -one, like, I really planned on taking a one-on-one -on -one makeup class with this girl. Then Corona happened. She canceled that. She said, I'm not doing this no more. And she even started doing it again and then stopped because a person who did go to her ended up having Corona and didn't tell her. Like, people are so trifling. Like, people don't... People don't even understand like how selfish that is. Not only is it trifling, but it's selfish. Like, girl, what? So now just put everybody like at risk and she has to throw away like a lot of stuff. Like I felt really bad for her. But as soon as she starts doing it again, sis, let me know. I want my, I want my one-on-one. -on -one. I didn't get my deposit back. All right. And I'm just gonna do this to the other eye, so. Yeah, let's just do this to the other eye. I like it when I back it up and drop it back, back it up and drop it, back it up and drop it back, back it up. It must be jelly cause jam don't shake. It ain't my birthday, buddy, like this cake. Have y'all watched P Valley yet? If you have not, baby, you need to. Like, me and all my friends are in a group chat and we'll be talking about it. And if I was anybody from P Valley, I think I'm. Am Crooked Letter, Crooked Letter I. That's me. Like, she's so pretty. And what she be doing? Mmm. She be up and down the pole, like, baby, you have two kids and you could do that? Upper body strength is on a bean, like, nah. But I really love that show. Like, I really love shows that, like, talk about industries people aren't really familiar with or only know based off of, like, what they see. Like, y'all, let me tell you, that stripping, it is very, it not only does it look exhausting because of what, like, like it's physically, it's already so physically demanding, but like, yo, just imagine like stripping every night. Sidebar, I'm just going to brush this out just so it looks a little natural. Yeah, I'm gonna just brush this out. Anyway, imagine going to the club every night and really like dancing your ass off, like, Oh my gosh, keep in mind, not all men keep them hands to themselves. Sometimes you're gonna be grabbed, sometimes you're gonna be called names. Like, it's just, it's just too much. Like, I know, personally, I couldn't do it. I mean, if times got hard, I probably could. Like, I probably could. I'd wanna go to a few, like, like, twerking classes, just so, like, I'm elite, but I probably could do it, but, sis, it's really physically, demanding like but 
I don't know. The soundtrack in that show goes crazy. Like, I love that show so much. I'm gonna throw some lashes on. I'm probably off camera because if I do it on camera, I'm gonna probably try to show off and I'm gonna embarrass myself. But these are the lashes that I'm about to put on. They are, let me wait for this to focus. This is as good as it gets, you said? Okay. These are the lashes, this is the brand, and then this is the name. All right, y'all, so now the lashes are on. So what I always like to do after I put my lashes on, is just put some mascara on my bottom lash. It just feels right, so. And I just feel like it looks better. Although I will say it does vary based on your eye size. Like, if you haven't noticed, I have very big eyes, so. I always do mascara on my bottom lash because I don't know, I just feel like it complements my eyes, makes them look a little smaller. So, that's what we do. And I'm about to cover up this pimple because I don't know if it's bothering you as much as it's bothering me, but it's bothering me. So we're gonna, we're gonna cover it up now. I'm gonna put y'all onto a little secret. This is what I do, and I actually found this on a TikTok, but it's my thing now, like I made it my thing, so yeah. But basically what you do, you take setting spray, spray it on your face, then you put primer on your face, and I don't know why, but I feel like your foundation just seeps into your skin. I'm so weird. Seeps into your skin so much better. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna take this Wet n Wild setting spray. I believe it's setting spray first, and then primer. So first is the setting spray. I'm gonna just cover my eye. And, and y'all, cover your lashes when you do this because I have right sprayed my lashes right off before. Then I'm gonna take this e.l.f. primer mist. Everything will be linked down below. Okay. And then I'm gonna let that seep in for a sec. So now, we can get into what we need to do. And I can't wait to gel my edges down. Like, y'all, what do y'all do first? Makeup, hair, clothes, clothes, hair, makeup. Like, what do y'all do? Personally, for me, it's makeup, hair, outfit. We can argue about it, but you're wrong, I'm sorry. I just feel like there's no other way to do it. Like, you do it another way, you gonna be thrown off. Like, that don't throw y'all off when y'all do it in a different, like, way. Throws me off. And I and usually I wet my beauty blender with um, primer as well because I don't know I just feel like I need to do that. You feel me? And then I just put it on my face. I don't know why, but I love a big fat beauty blender. Like it just does so much for me. What do y'all think? Well, like what do y'all use? And I love a good spoon brush too. All mine are dirty right now, so. I couldn't really use it, but I love these. Like I hate when people say that, you wear so much makeup, makeup takes too long, you do too much. Girl, shut up. Like, shut up, you don't know how to do yours. I could teach you. If you want me to teach you, just say that. Like, I hate that, that is so annoying. When your dad took me shopping, he didn't say I put on too much makeup. He said, what concealer is that? Is that, are you out? We asked Sephora, I could get you some more. That's what he told me. So, if you wanna learn something, maybe you should wear makeup too. Y'all, I just, I haven't, I lost my nose ring for about a month, two months. So I didn't have any type of nose ring. And I recently went to the store and got some. Y'all, this is my second time getting my nose pierced. I wasn't going for a third. I literally, I know for a fact, I broke the skin trying to put it in. It hurts so bad. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> it hurt so bad. It hurt so bad. I couldn't believe nothing should hurt that bad. It's like I popped my nose cherry. Like it hurt so bad. I could not. I couldn't believe it, y'all. Could not believe it. All right. I told y'all I have to wash these so much. I'm really trying not to get foundation on my headband. All right. Okay, so I don't know about y'all, but the way it's like seeping into my skin, I just love like, like, let me just wait until I'm done. This, this box like making my teeth look very white. It's all an illusion. The next thing that I'm going to do 
is take some concealer. I don't know where I put my concealer. I'm gonna take some some concealer and I'm gonna put it all under my face. What do y'all do? Like, do y'all put a lot of concealer on or a little bit? For the look, I've, I've been seeing a lot of different like matte looks with a lot of concealer and I just really like how it looks, so we're gonna try it. I mean, the way my luck is set up, this is gonna look a mess, but we're here, so we just have to commit. I'm all about committing, okay? At my future man, you heard me. I'm all about committing. Psych. Question, are y'all ready for a husband? Like sometimes I be feeling like I'm ready for a husband. Other days I'm like real last, give a butter, big fucking bag. Like some, it depends, like my mood depends. And then it's like, ain't no way I'm looking for a husband when I'm still talking to these future type men. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm still dealing with these future type dudes. So am I playing my, I think I'm playing myself. I don't know. All I know is big freaking bag. No, I'm kidding. So now that this foundation is set in, oh my God. Y'all, I'm telling you, that primer mist, whatever I just did, it does something different. My face don't never look like this. Like, oh my God. This is giving like material girl. I want Chanel 9 boots. All these niggas steady jocking because they know I'm the truth. Material girl, and I get it from my Mammy Ball main bust down. These hoes can't stand me. The next thing that I'm going to do, oh, and by the way, I always let this just set in my face for a little bit. Like, I know it's not baking necessarily, but I just want my face to, you know, eat it up. Next thing that I'm going to do is take this palette. This palette, I feel like everybody uses this um, Black Radiance True Complexion palette. Like, at this point, I don't know too many people who aren't using this palette. This palette is really good. And they don't just have medium to dark. They have light to medium, medium to dark. I think this is the darkest one, but don't quote me. And they sell these everywhere. Walmart, Target, um, Dwayne Reed, CVS. Like I've seen these everywhere. So definitely get that, definitely get it. And it's really good for starting. Like I never, st I didn't start contouring my face until it got really popular. And when I would watch like videos on how to do it, people would say it's a good starter pa pa um, starter palette. I guess I'm still starting because I still use it. Y'all, do y'all like to listen to sad music even when you're in a good mood? Cause I do, like sad music just makes me feel like I'm a woman. Like I really be feeling it like, oh my God. Like, just a few days ago, I was in my room singing Just Be A Man About It. I really can't sing. And I was just thinking like, I just got re upset at an old situation I'm not even dealing with. Like, but it just, mm, I was just really in touch with my emotions. I just felt so good. I was just like, if you wanna leave, then pack your things. Just be a man. All right. Mm, and I'm gonna leave that alone real quick. And then I'm going to take my black radiance, little setting powder. And the key, I feel like, when using setter, setting powder is don't use a lot. Like, I don't, I don't, I have to emphasize that. I don't use a lot. Blow. it. Blow. All right. Got me, swap me, drip down inside of me, and make it run now before I let it come to me. Double that. Got with me, swap me. Got with me, swap me, drip down inside of me, and make it run. Uh, keep brought a phone just for pictures of this. Right. So the next thing that I'm going to do is throw on some highlighter and then some lip lighter for my lips and my face, and then show y'all my outfit. So now we take a little bit of highlighter. This is my favorite highlighter. It's called Hyper Real Glow. I do wanna try other highlighters though because the only thing I don't like about this one is that she's, she's, she's strong, she's out there. Like, you can't really be too subtle with this one. And I do want a more subtle highlighter because 
I don't know, I was never into highlighter that I was screaming at you, but I do like this one a lot. Don't talk about how dirty my brushes are, bitch. I know. Like, y'all, I put, I didn't put that much on, like, she's bright. I don't even usually put highlighter under my cheeks, usually because, I don't know, I don't need to. Like, in the summertime, I don't put on that much makeup. Like, y'all peep, I don't have that much makeup on. Very, very light because I sweat profusely because I'm a nigga. And um, it just doesn't really make much sense. Like, it really don't make much sense to be doing all that. So, yeah. Next, I'm going to take my Kiss Lip Professionals Retractable Lip Liner in the color Bron Fonce. That's it, not in English, dark brown, okay. That's what happens when you try to do too much, you get embarrassed, okay. And then, I'm going to take the same brand in the color just brown. I like to mix my lip liners if I'm not gonna put like a color on. Then I'm gonna take some gloss. All right. The last thing I'm gonna do, let's put a little more on. I don't know about y'all, but I have to have a little more right here. Like, it's my signature. Like, if you know me, it's my signature. So put my little mole on. I used to lie so bad to people like, this is my mole, like, and then I forget it. And then we having a sleepover like Lauren, didn't you? Okay, I'm caught, period, I'm caught. You can't even see how small it is. Like, I really don't do too much. And I usually do two. It's, you can't even see one right here, one right there. Like, it's really super, super subtle. You can't see it unless it's close to my face. But yeah, it's kind of my thing. And then lastly, I'm going to put on some setting spray. Peter Papa, pick a pocket, do go do. Hey, boy. Long. I love this calm look. I'm about to gel my baby hairs down. I'm just not over this. Like this is just so calm. Like, all right, y'all. So now that I have this calm, calm beat on, we're gonna get dressed, and then I'm gonna show you what this outfit's looking like. One second. So yeah, I just put on this shirt from the Gap. And then I have on, my titties look so big. I have on these pants from, with these accessories from Forever 21. And then I just paired it with these Boohoo Fashion Nova jeans. And then I pretty much tied it at the back so that it would just be tighter, I guess, and like be more fitted and give like a bodysuit effect. She so like it when the back you up and drop a big, big. But no, seriously, like, I might have done a thing today, like, like, imagine this look with my teeth done. All right, you guys, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, go watch my other video, It'll turn your post notifications on so you don't miss a video, period, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Later!